What is up guys, Hallowed here. Today I got a new rat hole for you guys. It's in the Redwoods at around 69.50. So if you head over here, um, look for this little bridge right here. And um, you fly it under the bridge. It's a crouch rat hole by the way. You literally can't get in without crouching. You can put turrets literally everywhere. And you don't have to build it like this. You can build it any way you want. You can put a fat tower outside, you can do whatever. You can have a force like I have. You can foundation all off. But there's so many fucking angles for turrets. You can put turrets basically anywhere in here. And um, it's a very defendable spot. And you get up here, you can either just play a grab or just fabby kids. Go make up a fabby. Let me look, see that Demorphodon. Kill that. And like, you just have tons of angles down here. I mean, they can't really do much. Maybe cannon, but it's not six times. We crouch through here. And see, this is the spot. It's crouch. You have a heavier three and you have beamed. You have three here. We get the Fabi. I think this spot's honestly one of the best spots so far. I really like this spot I'm gonna build here too. You got Smithy right here. We got Bolt. We got Deddies. We got basically everything you can imagine in here. We had also got Tech Genie in here too at the very bottom before though. But I mean overall this spot's fucking incredible. It's a crowd spot, it's really hard to raid. And I think I'm gonna start maining this, but I mean, it's it's really fucking busted. I can't even lie. It's a crouch, literally, it's a crouch. And it's so easy to defend. Only a couple turrets and rescue set for white. Have breeding room outside, make a breeding area. I don't know. I think it's really busted. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all have an amazing day. This is Hallowed, and it's good to see y'all. What is up guys, it's Hallowed again. Today we have another OP rat hole down in Southwest 2 at these coordinates right here. Um, this spot's really fucking broken, so first you're gonna head over to this pillar right here and then go to the very bottom of this pillar. And there's a little crouch. By the way, this spot is only able to get in through three, either teleportation, uh, sleeping bags, or just beds in general. Or like shoving a racer head through the wall. But that's the only ways I've found to get through it. Um, just for, like just to save time, I'm gonna go and ghost real quick just so I can show you guys. Um, but just to show you, this works kind of official by the way, you can get beds in here just by doing that. Um, I'm going to ghost real quick though. I'm going to show you how I built the inside. I think the spots, I think I'm going to start maining this one honestly. It's, way, or it's not better than the other one, but the other one's really good too. But if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. It's my last video. It's really good. Um, but overall, I fit like 30 turrets in here. We got Forge in here for metal. We got Smithy, we got Fabby. We also got trains, we have deadies, we have beds, we have vaults. We just got everything you possibly need as like a solo or a duo. We have a fuck ton of turrets. And um, I really don't know how you'd raid this. Maybe you could rock it and splash, but other than that, just a rifle maybe? I don't know. With all these weird turret angles, as long as you could get the outside, maybe get a skeleton tower. It's going to be really hard to raid, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have more rattle content coming soon, and uh, have a good day. Hey guys, what is up, Hallo? Today I'm going to be showing you the top five base spots. So over here towards the um, right side of the map, we have a little rat hole hidden inside this pillar right here. This spot's honestly really good and it has a lot of room. Um, what I'd say is you build up the outside and then just put a couple turrets inside here, but I mean, you honestly have a ton of room for like inside the skinny little pillar or whatever the hell this is. And then you have, uh, you can have irrigation down here, so you can put plan X too if you can fade it. <laughs> and you just overall have a ton of room in here. Like I think this is one of the best spots I've seen so far. Um, but I'd say that I'm gonna put this up to number five, or number five spot just because of how much room there is in here and how like OP of a spot it is. Because overall, I mean, it, this is a really tough raid. But um, this is number number five, and uh, I'll get into number four now. Our next spot is at 4577, and it's very, very close to the, the old or the, the this last spot I just showed you guys. But this one's really good too. It has a lot of room outside where you can put plant X and just turrets in general. You have a whole area to defend and put animals. And then you have a massive drop down where you just put turrets everywhere along the drop down. And this would just be like a pain in the ass to raid. 
and you can you can just spam a fuck ton of turrets in there. There's just so much room to build in here. You can make quite a bit of stuff, especially for like a solo or maybe like a trio tribe. Put a fuck ton of stuff in here. But the one problem is there is that little hole right there. I'm sorry, you'd have to like build around that, but other than that, this spot's pretty fucking good. Our next spot's at 1553 up in the snow biome. It's on the big mountain. So you have this little crack right here, you have tons of other rocks around. And you go inside this little crevice right here. And there's just a ton of room for you to just you put like a bunch of turrets right here, you can spam them right here. I like up spam a couple, you can spam them right here, you can spam them everywhere, cut turrets. And then you have a ton of room to build down here, you put a cliff plat, and it goes all the way down here, so you can put like multiple layers of this building, whatever you want to put down here. Indy forges, reps probably. You put a fuck ton of stuff, stuff in here, so I think the spots that were all pretty good. But that's number three. Our next spot's in the swamp biome. And you go behind this tree over here and you get this big old little cave. It is um, six times inside here and it's two entrances. But not a lot of people know about this since it's new with like the new map rework. And you can put a wall right here. And you can put a wall over here too. It is six times in here, but right as soon as you go outside, there's no six times. So you build towers up there and not to worry about them instantly getting blown up. But overall, the spot's really good. I think you feel like it's a really good starter spot. You can put a bunch of things in here and basically everything you want to play in. So if you guys are just starting up, I think it's an amazing spot. Our next spot is over here near Green Knob. You go down here, you go, not right here, you go below. Oh, right there. Yeah, right here. And um, you could fit, I mean, you could see I've fit 100 fucking turrets in this entrance. I don't know how else you're going to raise this other than soaking. It's not six times, you go up here. You build a bunch of turrets right here, and then you go up here and it's a little crouch. And then you should deal with all the turrets up here, and that's a ton of room. You fit either PTs or rhinos maybe up here. And overall, there's a ton of space to just fucking get fat as hell on here. And overall, I think you build this a lot, or like way better, and you use cliff plots and stuff, but overall, this spot's amazing, and I think it's the best spot in the game. What is up, guys? It's Hallowed once again today, but OP hidden base spot for solos or maybe duo tribes. It's honestly a really good starter location and just an overall good spot in general. So, down here, I have the Indy Forge where you're going to be placing and um, farming. Uh, this is in the snow, so it's perfect to have like an Argent Anki down here. And then you're going to want to fly up here. And then I have turrets spammed everywhere right here. You can also have dinos, like PTs, maybe rhinos if you ramp them up here, right here. I have a bunch of turrets right here, and this is the spot right here. It's held up by this one foundation, then you go up here. I, f I was able to fit a um, a fridge, a smithy, a convention, a fabby, a jenny, a turret up there, and a bed, all in this location. You can put, you're probably gonna put a bunch more stuff in here too. And you can access it right there, fabby, convention, smithy. But um, as you can see, this is honestly an overall, it's an amazing spot. There's tons of room for anyth anything you guys could possibly need. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is all for this video. Um, if you guys any, have any other base spots for me to uh, make videos on, let me know down in the comments. But overall, I think this is a really good solo spot, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day, and peace out. What is up, guys? Hello here. Today I'm going to be showing you easily the most overpowered fucking rat hole literally in all of Arc Ascended. So if you want to head over, right over to Green Knob around 5379-ish, around those coordinates. Um, and we have this really broken rat hole. Um, the only way to get into it is by flying with a Texu or grapples, or building up into it, or um, by like a P tier flyer. And it's really broken, you have a bunch of places to place turrets, you probably fit like over 100 turrets in here I'd say easily. Me, myself, I fit over 100 turrets when I was testing, and um, it's really broken, there's only a couple entrances. And there's one big main part that's almost impossible to raid. The only way I could see you raiding this is by ramping it and soaking it, which is just torture in general. But overall, this spot is really overpowered. I don't know how many people are going to write it off the bat, and just in general, to be honest, it's a very good spot, and it's really overpowered, and it's not six times either, so it's an impossible rocket run.
And then once you build up here, you have this little ledge where you can fit probably some key keys and some things up here, and you can fit a full crafting station, and like just tons of room for everything you possibly need in your gorgeous grab. Like really easy to think of stuff. Overall, it's an amazing base spot, it's really good with our, not say it's easy, one of the best spots, base spots in the game.